Hello and welcome back to Barry's Pool. My name is John, if you did not already know that, and well, back behind here, that's my pool. You can see all my pool videos at barryspool.me if you'd like to check them out. In this video, I'm going to talk about the pressure gauge. Uh, I had a question on my channel that asked, should you use a pressure gauge on your sand filter? And absolutely, you really should. While you don't always have to use one, uh, if you don't have one on the sand filter, you can go ahead and just try to maintenance it weekly or every other week or by the pressure that's coming into the return. It is a great tool to have. Um, all you'll want to do to determine when you need to flush is by looking at the gauge. So the other part of the question was how do you know and how do you read the gauge? How do you know when to flush it and how do you do it? Well, it's pretty simple. First, you want to go ahead and backwash your pool. Uh, you'll want to do that by backwashing for 60 seconds or so or until the water's clear. Some of them will even have a little clear uh, uh, vial uh, on the sand filter. Um, and you can see the water get clear there. Other ways is to watch the water coming out or just wait 60 to 90 seconds. Uh, once you're done backwashing it, you'll want to switch to rinse mode. Also, whenever you're switching through all of these modes, you want to turn your pump off before you switch uh, the dial or you can run some seals and cause leaks. So it's best to make sure your pump's off before switching to backwash, pump off, switch to rinse, and so on and so forth. You'll then want to rinse it for about 30 seconds or so. Uh, so that'll get rid, uh, rinse your sand out real good and it'll prevent a sand from going back in your pool once the backwash has completely finished. And then if you go straight to filter, you can put sand in there. So backwash, filter, uh, or rinse, and then go to filter. Uh, once you've done all that, you've got a clean filter. Now you can read your gauge. Now, if your gauge is at about 15 like you see here you'll want to wait till it goes about five to seven above that i typically go for about seven uh, so once it gets to about 23 or so it'll be time to back wash because once you you've got clean water it'll be here so it's always you want to look at this kind of after you back wash as your sand gets older uh, this number can change but it's always after you back wash wherever it starts clean once the pressure increases a certain amount. Now this kind of, of, of a gauge actually has a dial that you can turn so you know that's where you backwash. You can just set that so you don't have to remember and then that's your clean spot which they actually have it set to about 10 but that's definitely the maximum I would recommend is 10. Um, if you don't have this where you can actually set this like that uh, you just remember 15 and then just say 25 at worst case scenario uh, but I would say before that because your pressure is going to start getting weaker uh, the water coming back into the pool Is not going to be pushing out as strong and of course if it's not pushing out as strong your water is not going to be nearly as clean or um, Your pumps not going to be quite as effective All right, well, thank you guys for tuning in again if you want to see more of my videos just visit Barry's pool.me that's Barry's pool.me and if you are a pool owner above ground like I have or even underground and want to watch some pool videos tips and tricks and things that I come up with I absolutely positively recommend you subscribe to this channel uh, so you can get all that information and click that bell notification icon so you're notified when a video is released. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. I'll see you guys in the next video and keep on swimming. It's getting hot outside. It's really hot, hot, 